Hi, it's Neil McGovern here. I'm talking today about tuning again. And today I've just taken my saxophone out of the case and I have a warmed up because I want to demonstrate something about tuning to do with temperature. So I've got my little tuner here and I'm just going to see where I am. So I was just a little bit under couldn't see it then, but it was just a little bit flat when I played. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow some warm air down the saxophone, and hopefully, I'll try and show you, this will start to warm up, and as it warms up, it will get sharper. It's a little bit higher than it was. It, it's something that takes a few minutes to happen, but it's something you really ought to be aware of as you're playing. Um, you will find that when you're playing pieces, you actually start to go sharp. Even if you've tuned up, even if you've warmed up for a little while, if you're playing quite an intense and busy piece, you'll find that the, uh, the tuning of the instrument does just start to drift a little bit sharp, a little bit sharp. So what I love to see people doing when they're performing a piece is this getting your mouthpiece and just pulling it back off the mouthpiece a little bit more as I've described before because when we pull it back that's going to make it a little bit flatter and hopefully bring us back into tune if we've drifted sharp as we're playing. Um, it's really something to watch out for, it's, it's the most common change. Unless you're playing outside in winter or in some very strange cold situation, I have played in a, a mine once in a cave, that was pretty strange for oscillating tuning over time but usually what's going to be happening is your instrument is just going to get warmer and warmer and warmer and it will start to drift sharp so it shows great confidence if you can grab your mouthpiece and just pull it back a little bit when you realize that's starting to happen and expect it to happen so you may be at a stage in your playing where you think i just can't hear if it's in tune or not i'm not sure but I'm giving you some knowledge here that it is going to drift sharp as it warms up. That's just the nature of the instrument. Strings do the opposite. Wind instruments get sharper as they get warmer. So that's something just to be really careful of. Um, obviously, you want to be able to hear it yourself and really listen and, and notice. But this is something to expect to happen. Um, cold temperatures really make it go flat if it's very cold. So if you are playing outside, you may find that you have to wildly adjust the normal position of the mouthpiece on the cork. You'll have to be much further on than you normally would be. So it will be, you know, I, I could be, say, that far on, which for me is, is a, lo a long way on, on my setup. I've gone even further sometimes, uh, but it's something to watch out for if you're doing busking Christmas carols outside at Christmas, for instance, something like that. I did have an, a situation last year, I think, where I, or the year before, where I played baritone saxophone outside. And it could be something to do with the larger instrument, but it, <laughs> it just would not get, get into tune. It was so cold and it went so flat that there was really absolutely nothing I could do about it. And um, I had to resort to some other methods, which perhaps I'll talk about in another video, um, to do with fingering. Anyway, hopefully that helps. Remember, if it's hot, it's getting warmer, it's getting sharper. If it's cold, it's going to go flat. Hope that helps.